it's not only the influencers um, enacting these uh, postures or using these words or, um, or some particular visual details, but also particular semiotic details, but actually became a common language of everyone. And today we have these mediums, that, um, these social media, that uh, affect uh, our identities and our languages as well. I really want to focus on the photographic quality of these uh, images, so I didn't look at uh, YouTube or other social media. I wanted to look at specifically on Instagram and the pictures and the photographic image, and then I decoded it in uh, the visual devices that are supposed to allure your attention. And decoding the visual devices means basically trying to highlight all the details in the picture that are actually attracting your attracting your attention, but also is the enactment that uh, uh, was happening during the making of the picture. So this influencer, they stage um, whatever they are doing, whatever they want to uh, pretend to be. They went to the streets and they pasted these posters on the public walls, in the public space. And uh, this to me is uh, it's showing how, after all, um, when they return to the original environment, I mean, not the traditional environment of advertise, advertising, such as public billboards, um, then those images became banal. On your phone, you're looking at, at that uh, in a private moment, and these people look like your friend. That's deceptive itself, the fact that you consume this advertisement in that way but when they're on the wall when they're just regular billboard you pay much less attention to that advertising because we are saturated already of that kind of advertising ethics is not an opinion some people get confused about this stuff you know sometimes you say oh it's my own ethics yes everyone can have their own ethics but actually ethics in other field like uh, you know, in uh, medicine uh, or, uh, or like also environmental issues, you know, those are not opinions. Those, those are decisions. They're ethical questions that need to be resolved. And if you answer wrong to, uh, to, uh, to some of those ethical questions, some people might die. So that's why it becomes a specific science, science, science. And that's why in internet also ethics uh, of technology is not just an opinion or you know uh, an academic exercise but actually it be needs to become a serious matter and needs to become a law and become a regulation and that's like a political process and um, that uh, to me goes along in a way with uh, fake news and in general with uh, content moderation that's a very complex issue and they also done other projects about content moderation online and so in this case um, you know there are you no know, hate speech can be very dangerous as well on the internet in this case uh, influencers uh, promote uh, products that can be also very dangerous I think, yes, the legal uh, frameworks should be in place and they help a lot. But, you know, this, this is also tied to the technological complexity that we will face in the future. And um, also, if you have some sort of regulations that are very helpful again, there are always um, some way to, uh, you know, get away with those regulations. And uh, also, it's just very um, subtle, a very subtle mode of advertising. It's becoming invisible, it's harder to detect for, for everyone, and even if there are legislation in place, if you don't say it, you cannot enforce the legislation on, on that advertising. Um, the next generation will be more used to this kind of uh, advertising, and so if you really look at the history of advertising when they were placing uh, product placement in movies, at the beginning people didn't notice that that was advertising, and then it became regulated. And now when we watch a movie and we see a brand in the movie, we immediately know that it's like product uh, placement. And the same thing is uh, it's probably going to be on the internet when uh, you know this this 
this form of advertising become more common understanding, uh, it's easier to spot. People can report it if they don't like it and they can skip it if they don't like it. Mm -hmm.